everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Uh, today I'm going to make some orange uh, tarts uh, with a, a, a sort of gooey centre. Uh, this is a recipe that I saw on YouTube actually uh, and the channel was at Ricetta Fetta di Casa, an Italian site I'm guessing. Um, and they're just a nice pastry case with an orange filling and a little bit of pastry on the top and then they bake up quite nice and then um, they should be soft and gooey and slightly runny inside hopefully so they look very good and I thought I would give them a go but I'm uh, making a couple of changes for instance I'm putting some orange zest into the pastry case itself and I'm adjusting the ratio of liquids as well so it's actually quite straightforward and I'll go on to the ingredients. And for the pastry, I have uh, 300 grams, which is two cups of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have eight grams, two teaspoons of baking powder. I have 100 grams, half a cup of caster sugar. Uh, 100 grams, seven tablespoons of oil, flavorless oil two medium eggs that would be large in the USA and the zest from two oranges and then for the filling I have 300 millilitres which is one and a quarter cups of orange juice 45 millilitres three tablespoons of lemon juice uh, 60 millilitres a quarter of a cup of water 100 grams half a cup of caster sugar and 16 grams, uh, two tablespoons of corn flour. And the first thing we need to do is to make our pastry. And to do that, I'm going to put the dry ingredients into a bowl. The flour, the sugar, and the baking powder. And I'm going to uh, just whisk those around a little bit to get them combined. And I'll add in the orange zest as well. And then I'm simply going to add in the eggs and the oil. And I'm going to mix that into a soft dough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to <clears throat> use my hand now that I've got it partially combined and just mix that until it all comes together. So there's my dough. Now I've actually, um, I thought it was too uh, wet and greasy. So I've added another third of a cup. So that's 350 grams of flour I've put in my dough. That's two and one third cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. And I'm going to cut off about a quarter of that like that and set that to one side and then with the remainder I'm going to divide that into nine pieces 
and uh, each piece is going to be pressed into uh, the hole of a muffin cup. So I have greased and lined, uh, greased and floured nine holes of my muffin tin there. So I'll just take um, a portion of that, just a, a ball of dough like that, and I'm going to press that into the the cup and up the side, making sure that I don't leave a hole in the bottom. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same with the remainder. So I've put the pastry into the cups like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the fridge and I'm going to chill that while I make the filling. And at the same time, I'm going to divide this uh, other piece into... Um, maybe 72 small little balls that can go on the top. So I put this in the fridge and we'll make the filling. So to make the filling, I'm simply going to put all my ingredients into a bowl. The orange juice, the lemon juice, the water, the sugar, and then the corn flour as well. I'm going to mix those around until the corn flour is mixed through and the sugar as well. And then I'm going to cook that until the mixture thickens. So, so I'll put the mixture into a saucepan and I'm going to cook it stirring or whisking all the time until it starts to thicken. And I should say that I now have my oven preheating at uh, 200 Celsius. That's 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit. And as you can see, that's now boiling and it's thickening nicely. And as you can see, that's thickened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off and then we need to fill our tart cases. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to spoon some of the mixture into each of the cases.
So there's the mixture in the cases. And then what I've done is I've, I've divided my excess dough into little pieces. And I'm going to try to form them into, into balls. And just place them on the top of the dough around the edge. Like that. So there's the little balls on the top. So I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 20 minutes. So the pastry should cook through and the filling should cook as well and the filling should rise up a little bit and firm, uh, form a sort of crust on the top but hopefully will still be soft inside. So once I've baked them like that I'll take them out of the oven, transfer them to a wire rack and when they've cooled I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the orange uh, tartlets or tarts for 20 minutes and I left them for a few minutes, then I transferred them to a wire rack um, and uh, to cool off. They're still actually slightly warm, but I'll show you what they look like. So this is how they look at the moment. And they baked up quite nicely, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut one. And as I said, it's still warm. as you can see the um, center has stayed quite runny so I'll have a taste of this one It's very, very nice. The pastry is quite soft. It's slightly crisp on the outside, but still quite soft. Cooked through, but quite soft inside. With that lovely orangey flavour. Not overly sweet, I have to say. Um, but I, I prefer it not to be overly sweet. So these actually worked out quite well. I will put a link to the original uh, video that I saw. Uh, below my video so that you can actually check that one out as well if you want to. As I said I made a couple of adjustments and one of the adjustments I actually made during the uh, making a video was to put more flour into my dough because I thought it was still too wet. So I will adjust the recipe or I'll make mention of that in the recipe on my blog. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.